we'll briefly go over the uh, de Broglie wavelength, okay? Now in the past we've learned that Einstein realised the, pho the photoelectric effect. And the photoelectric effect showed us that light travelled in packets as quanta. And the fact that the emission of the electrons from the surface of a metal was instantaneous, providing that the frequency that overcame the threshold frequency, which gave the photon enough energy to overcome the work function. We learned that light travels as packets. Now, what de Broglie realised was, when we did diffraction gratings in school, we did electron diffraction, what we did was we fired a beam of electrons through graphite. And the graphite acted as a grating for our electrons. And what we got were rings. We got rings on a green fluorescent screen. And what that showed us was that the electrons could produce an interference pattern and therefore the electrons were travelling as waves and they were constructively and destructively interfering with each other. Now the fact that electrons travel as waves showed that matter, all matter, travels as waves. And de Broglie, you pronounce it de Broglie, but de Broglie, he quantified this and said that lambda equals h over momentum. So the wavelength of matter is Planck's constant divided by momentum. Now momentum is mv from unit 2. So the wavelength of matter is just h divided by its momentum or mass times velocity. So for example, um, if we had an electron, and we've got an electron, and we could say our electron is travelling at 1 times 10 to the 8 metres per second. So it's travelling at 1 times 10 to the 8 metres per second. And we can calculate its wavelength. Now, you can use this for electron microscopes, and you can use this because you can create electrons of different wavelengths depending upon how fast you accelerate them. So you can decide what wavelength you would like and then calculate the accelerating potential difference necessary to accelerate electrons to that wavelength, okay? So very simply then, if we've got an electron travelling at 1 times 10 to the 8 metres per second, neglecting any dilation due to the speed it's going, we can work out that the wavelength of the electron would simply be lambda equals h, which is 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34, divided by the mass of an electron, which is in our formula sheet, which is 9.1 times 10 to the minus 31, times its velocity, which in this case is 1 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And if we put that into our calculator, we can see that that equals 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 divided by 9.1 times 10 to the minus 31 times 1 times 10 to the 8 equals, and that equals 7.3 times 10 to the minus 12 meters. Now, of course, we could change the velocity of our electron by changing the potential difference through which it's accelerated in order to create a wavelength which we wanted. But that is simply the de Broglie wavelength. Lambda is h over mv and it shows us that as well as light travelling as matter, if you like, as discrete packets called photons, he showed us that matter travels as a wave by, interf by, using, uh, by demonstrating interference patterns. Okay? That's simply it.